there's going to be some clicking in this one because I've still got the case on my camera and as you were all aware it clicks when the case is on it. I have been sat here, I've been having a rough day or two and today I've just been feeling really low and I saw one of the TikTokers that I am mutuals with talk about this. So this inspired me to make this series which you are seeing now and this is purely a creative mindset coming through like I literally just thought this and got my camera out. Welcome to the reality of an autistic woman in society. I am female presenting, um, my pronouns are she, they, for those who are wondering. Either one, I don't mind, it's up to you. So this is going to be the uh, a reality for an autistic and disabled person in both a neurotypical and abled world. The case is now off the camera. This is the case that I've got, so hopefully it won't click anymore. <laughs> So uh, it is currently 20 past 7 in the evening and I am currently just looking at my schedule. I have been eating a bucket of popcorn. So I am looking at my schedule at the moment which I'll show you in a minute and I have to schedule everything in otherwise I will forget the lovely side of being autistic and having ADHD. And I am also watching Lubby Lane. Uh, I am a big fan of hauntings and the paranormal, so that is what I am watching at the moment. So this is what I work with, I use Google Calendar personally, and you can see here that I even um, note in my shower days to remember when to shower. Uh, yeah, it's not fun. Um, I have to pick up a prescription tomorrow and grab some breakfast. Well, I don't have to grab some breakfast, but I have kind of... I need to be more independent. Um, I have a massive event coming up on in September, two events potentially, and my mum was going to come with me. Uh, but another downside of being autistic is I don't regulate and manage my emotions very well which means that when I am anxious, nervous, or excited about something, I often get very angry. <laughs> and this can also be, anger is also a trait of ADHD as well. So, mum's not coming with me anymore. She's left me to my own devices, and it means that I now have a three hour car trip, and I have to work out a hotel by myself. My parents are also away as well. So yeah, I have to, uh, I have to work my way around a hotel, driving a three hour drive there, which is horrible enough as it is, um, and then the actual event itself where I'm on the panel for content creators, so I will be giving a public talk, and then if I say yes to the other one, that means that I then have the same thing, but not in Birmingham, in London instead, and I'll be doing a talk at the London XL show. Uh, so I go, come back for six days, and then I'm back up in London. So I need to be more independent, and I need to stop relying on other people so heavily. So yeah, tomorrow, uh, small progresses, small steps at a time. I am going to go and get breakfast and a coffee in the coffee shop that is right next door to my pharmacy. And I'm going to sit in and eat breakfast, and I might bring my laptop in, or a book, so I can do some planning with that as well and because it makes it less awkward than if I have something to focus on so I'll also bring my camera uh, so that was what I will be doing tomorrow I also have to film a video tomorrow I just posted a video on TikTok and usually I get about 1.5k 1, 1 views on my videos within the first hour of uploading it and it's really disheartening that I'm barely making 300 at, I don't know whether you can see that I'm barely making 300 and that was posted like well over an hour ago so that's also something that's knocked my confidence right down TikTok is just uh, as, as much as it's nice and as much as it's an app that can gain recognition it is also an app that can strip the confidence away when you get shadow banned or your views drop which isn't so nice. So yeah, and then I'll edit that video, then I'll have a lunch break, and then I've got an Instagram post up, which is also the, it's the accompanying, a parallel post 
to the YouTube video. So the information that I give in the YouTube video, I'll make into a Instagram post for you all. I have a headache and it could be that I haven't drank enough, but I have, yeah, that's not enough. I might start putting reminders in my phone to make sure to eat and drink throughout the day because I, these headaches are horrible. Yeah, I'm not having a good time. I'm just very, I'm overwhelmed, but I feel like I should document this and I feel like it's important to document this as well uh, because there needs to be less awareness and more acceptance, but to be able to gain acceptance, you need to spread awareness. So, yeah. Good morning, and oh yeah, I'm awake a little later than what I wanted to be. I mean, I was awake, I just sat there on my phone, as all is. Um, I apologise, I haven't even put my contacts in yet. I just grabbed my camera, so I apologise because I cannot see the viewfinder at the moment. <laughs> Today, I am going to go and pick up my medicine. I'm going to go and get some breakfast and then I might pop to Hobbycraft because I kind of want to try out crocheting. I feel like a hobby wouldn't be such a bad thing for me and I want to kind of try and make some jumpers because I think that would be really cool. So I'm gonna maybe do that, I'll see how I feel. This whole angle looks really messy but I'm actually gonna check the weather, the temp. Okay, oh god, severe weather warning. Amazing. Now I'm just going to do my makeup and then get ready. and I said that I'd leave at half eight. Well, actually, I lied. It is 32 minutes past eight. So I am going to go and brush my teeth and then go. Uh, for the purpose of driving and UK road laws, I'm just gonna use my phone to record this bit. And I don't think there's much difference, but I would just rather be more responsible and not try and crash when I'm trying to focus on a camera. <laughs> Uh, this is highly awkward. I'm currently on my, I'm back on my camera again, although I might just use my phone. Uh, breakfast is all done. I've had breakfast and I've picked up my prescription and now I'm going to pop to Hobbycraft. Be uh, excuse me, that's rude. I'll get copyrighted for that. Oh, everything's so bright. Honestly, I find driving so stressful. I also need to find my way there. Um, so yeah, this is the chaos of Jess driving. I'm not gonna lie, it is quite therapeutic being able to talk to myself. Some drivers are just naturals. I'm here. Uh, it's weird how one thing can ruin the entire day. And hopefully getting my crochet bits will help. Okay, um, I didn't record much while I was in there. Um, cause it's a little busy and I was holding a lot of things. Um, that was nice, it was a nice distraction and the lady was really nice as well and she taught me about um, like the dye codes of the wool and stuff um, which was really cool and it was really nice of her so now I am going to go home I'm so sweaty I was going to go to the shop but I think I'm just going to oh wait, it's on the way home so yeah, I'll do that on the way home I just got out of the doors actually ended up spending some time uh, calming myself down. I have posted two TikToks. Let's see if the views are any better. 
Uh, fingers crossed that they are. I think sometimes TikTok just, just does this weird thing for like 48 hours to a week and then recorrects itself again. It is so, so warm. I actually have my blinds shut because of how warm it is. It is horrible. Good morning. Again, I have just woken up. I've got to cook dinner today. So I thought, why not go to the shop this morning? It's Friday morning, by the way. <laughs> so my laptop, I didn't have time to grab my camera, but my thumb is actually dislocated right now. So when people ask what it's like to have EDS, um, I can't really pick up anything without my joint going. It's starting to get really painful, hang on. There we go. Um, yeah, it's okay when I hold it like that, but there we go. Um, if I hold it a bit higher, it does not take much. So, yeah, that's the reality of um, EDS. I think the dislocations for me aren't really bad. It's the internal like organ stuff that gets me, because uh, that stuff's kind of painful. Um, it's kind of can be serious. So, yeah and i am just going through some emails and i had an email about a partnership and i haven't replied in two days this is day two so apologize for the birds um so that's what i'm doing i'm just replying to some brand collaboration emails and then um i need to book the hotel today as well um i'm well aware that this vlog is literally just me talking the entire time but isn't that what vlogs are uh, so yeah i don't think i'm gonna go to the shop today um if i have the ingredients i might make some sugar cookies so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and being autistic and trying to sort out brand collaborations is a challenge um i'm not so good on the communication front i really struggle with communication and uh, when there's a lot of words in front of me nothing makes sense which is really irritating um so that's what i'm gonna try and do uh so that's on my agenda still haven't figured out those exercises yet oh, i've got to do laundry which i don't think that's enough it's just in it's the full moon today which is probably why i've been so crappy the past couple of days it's a lionscape portal as well which is also really annoying uh, which is heightened emotion, so that could be why I'm struggling, but that is purely just witchy stuff. <laughs> this book i really don't i only have that much left so my current read is tower of dawn by sarah j mass this is book seven out of the eight book series so i've got one more to go and i'm freaking out and like it's far enough into the book that things are going to start to get interesting so yeah i kind of hoping to finish that okay uh so my memory's been really really bad lately and considerably worse today I ended up getting breakfast at 10 o'clock last night only to wake up and go out there this morning to still see the same breakfast on the side uh, which is a bit weird that I made breakfast forgot about it and then found it this morning but um, I am going to be organizing my wool into this bag and also putting like my little practice crochet pieces in the bag as well in like a separate bag just basically organizing them all and then i need to water my plants because my plants are struggling in this heat as am i <laughs> i'm about to make dinner um i am making a vegetarian chicken lo mein um for those of you who are wondering i use uh tasty the app tasty uh so hopefully it is tasty um genuinely speaking when it comes to cooking i struggle both as an autistic member of society and with the adhd the adhd causes me to forget and um i often end up cooking the things that i want to cook and not what i need to cook 
and recipes are just too many words too many words and it stresses me out uh yeah it just stresses me out a lot and i get really overwhelmed and to pair that with chronic illness and my heart not doing too good i end up getting incredibly dizzy if i stand up for too long so i tend to stick to recipes that are half an hour and under and with the tasty app it is absolutely brilliant because oh god this sounds like an app hashtag not sponsored with the tasty app you can actually when you go to search um you can organize it by time uh by what you're looking for which is really really handy even uh, five ingredients and less that's an option as well another handy thing is that you've got the ingredients there and then it goes down to the actual recipe but if you scroll up to the top and this is what i like being neurodivergent is that if you click the pause button it shows you the instructions in person so you know what you're doing. It makes my autistic brain very happy. I just think that's a really cool and really neat thing. Um, but I'm gonna go and chop up all the vegetables and I'm gonna take you along with me. I've also got a fairy festival tomorrow as well, which is uh, super fun. Oh, it's 20, not, 27 degrees, it's gone down. Thank God. So it'll be really bright there. Ah, that is so bright. It's my iPad, iPad or laptop, what should I go for? iPad, it's more convenient. Um, so yeah, in no. My crochet. Oh god, I still. I'm good. Enjoy this montage of me cooking. In a bit. You're gonna have to put up with the angle being like this for now. My mum's actually really sweet and she puts out the ingredients for me because that's one last thing for me to be frantic over. My neck really hurts. And I've also had a bit of a headache. I think maybe it's a spine thing. morning i'm in the car with mother who's stressing out trying to reverse out the drive um we are going to the fairy festival we are here and i have been listening to music on the way down admittedly let me put my phone there um again there is probably going to be clicking in this vlog um, because I've got the case on my camera and when the case is on my camera it clicks a lot um, but yeah this is my makeup um, not that anyone really cares on my channel uh, but yeah we're just parking and we are gonna now go for breakfast and then go to the festival just a quick note I am waiting for the day someone confronts me about my blue badge like I am I am prepared for it like bring on the Karens please I am I'm waiting for it just do something oh god I have to even put the camera down because you're so short it's so quiet mm. there's just no one to look in witches as well before we get breakfast now I have decided to take my crutches um, just for uh, mobility aspects and also it keeps me a bit more stable throughout the day. The makeup that I've done actually matches my crutches. Again, can't really see much. I'm bringing both crutches. Well, look, look, look.
Okay, so it's me. I apologise again for the clicking because the case is still on my camera. Uh, we ended up coming out at about 12 o'clock, so we were there for about two hours. Um, my heart wasn't doing too good. It was unbearably hot. Uh, it was 32 degrees in the new forest today so it was warm so we ended up coming home so instead of doing this in a separate vlog i'm just going to chuck it in the one that i was uh, filming already so yeah this is kind of like an editor's note but also to catch you up on the situation i have this evening finished oh, i'll try and get it i have this evening finished tower of dawn uh by sarah j mass which now means that i'm on to kingdom of ash Oh my god, I've literally experienced anxiety picking up this book. I'm so nervous to start it because, to be honest, I am more nervous to see... It's the last book of an eight book series, so I'm more nervous to see how it's going to go. Also, if you can see my TV, um, I don't... What am I listening to? Skyfall by Adele um, because it's part of the book's playlist. And I can't listen to my own songs because they distract me so much. So I put on a playlist that is that someone else has made that's dedicated to the book helped me focus a bit more you know i really do hope you've enjoyed this vlog uh i'm pretty sure the whole thing has just been me talking to you guys and it hasn't really been anything particularly interesting but i did say that there was going to be more vlogs up and i was having a bad time so i kind of wanted to catch that as well as the good and then like the in between you know so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any other video suggestions for me to do either head over to my instagram and message me privately on there and dm me or leave a comment in the comments box below about what you would like to see from me all my equipment relevant information will be in the description box so be sure to check that out before you go and yeah, thank you for watching this video, it means the absolute world to me, and thank you for just being amazing followers in general. <laughs> Bye!